in this video we go to look. How does an RPG-7 works? And we look at all the components of RPG-7. Let's explore it. Most the RPGs can be carried by an individual soldier and are frequently used as anti-tank weapons. The Soviet-developed RPG-7 is the most widely distributed, recognizable, and used RPG in the world. That would be dangerous to the operator. Let's explore the components. This is the inertial propellant grenade. It consists of warhead, sustainer motor, booster, and fins. The warhead. It contains explosive material. This is the sustainer motor, which ignites after the grenade has left the tube and which propels the grenade to a maximum velocity of 300 meters per second. This is the fins. They are stabilized in flight. The fins not only provide drag stabilization, but are designed to impart a slow rotation to the grenade. In front of the warhead there is a safety cap for ensure safety of the soldier. The middle of the tube is wood wrapped and they are an insulating material. To protect the user from heat and the end is flared. Let's explore the working mechanism. RPG-7 has simple trigger mechanism. When the trigger is activated, the associated power goes off immediately. This then ignites the squib of nitro, thereby activating the rocket propulsion system or sustainer motor to carry the grenade the rest of its trajectory and which propels the grenade to a maximum velocity of 300 meters per second. Then the stabilizing fins are activated. 